Ben, a bit of time to recover after was it what was a long week. What are your initial thoughts ahead of Fleetwood at home? Yeah, looking forward to the game. Um, it's always good to be back at home. Um, I think this season our home form has been um, really good. Um, you know, we've got to try and you know bounce back from the you know the last home game we had, which was a you know one nil narrow late defeat. Um, so yeah, we're still look, looking forward to it, preparing as we always do for each game, and um, you know hopefully on Saturday we can you know win win the game. So last week was a very long week with two very long away trips. How important has it been to have the full week to recover for a home game this time? Yeah, of course. It's um, you know every footballer wants to play play games, but um, you know the travel is you know it's, it is hard. Um, you know, getting you get back late and then you're in training and there's not much preparation time. You know, for the manager and, and for us lot. But um, yeah, look, we've we've had a good week this week. Um, you know, obviously got another day tomorrow to prepare it even more and. You know, we'll be, we'll be ready come Saturday. Gaffer told us you had Monday off in Tuesday, off Wednesday in today, obviously, and then, as they mentioned, in tomorrow. How's the preparation been going for the game? Yeah, really good, yeah. Obviously, um, the Gaffer's obviously given us a, an extra day off this week, which is which has been good um, to recharge the batteries after the after the journeys we've been on. Um, you know, everyone came in Tuesday, you know, raring to go, and obviously started the preparation today on, on you know, on how we can impose ourselves on Fleetwood and, and the dangers that they pose to us. We had uh, so to the, the long away days but we did take points away from both of those and now with Fleetwood coming up how important is it to pick up results against teams that are in and around us in the table? Yeah I think it's important to pick up points all the time really um, you know particularly at home as I said our home form has been really good and um, you know we want to keep that going obviously you know when you get three points against someone who's in and around you it's obviously it helps because you know it's a game that you can directly stop the opposition kind of gaining ground on, on yourself or you know you can catch them up so yeah it's just another game we're looking forward to and, and aiming to get all three points as we do in each and every game. On to the transfer window four in four out we guess the ones that come in first just had Seiko here for a while and Ty came in and then on deadline day Tom Flanagan and Matty Bondswell as well how have they been settling in? Yeah, good, yeah. You know, it's an easy, really easy group to come into. Obviously, I only signed in the summer. Um, didn't take me long to, you know, be part of the group. It's a really welcoming group. And, you know, obviously with, with any new signings, we, we, we try and, you know, integrate them as quickly as we can into the, just into the being in the dressing room, really. And, you know, obviously Tom's an older player, so he's, you know, he's had experience of being in different dressing rooms. And, and for Matt, he's, you know, he's a young lad. He's, he's quiet. And um, you know he he'd be fine as well. He's you know come in and you know we're hoping to help them and hopefully they can help us on the field. That's something Matty said that he noticed almost immediately. With you know everyone you know coming up to him, introducing themselves, but also just how tight knit and well bonded the group is. Is that nice to hear from you know a player who's been here that someone has come in and seen that so quickly? Yeah, definitely. I think um, you know I, I think you only have to see how we, how we perform. Um, you know, we've had games where we've been down to ten men. You know, on quite a few occasions, and every single person on that pitch then is digging in for each other. Um, and you know, you want to do it for because you're on the pitch with with your teammates, but you also want to do it for the for the man that's had to off the pitch, maybe. And um, you know, it's a really, really good group, really tight knit, and you know, we're welcoming the new boys in, and and hopefully they can get hit the ground running and get straight into it. Had four people leave. The first one, Natal Better, the last few moments of the transfer deadline day and was a hugely important member of the squad and played very regularly as well. What was the reaction amongst the players when he moved on? Yeah, look, it's football. Um, you know, Nat's been here, you know, obviously in my time here, I've been with him for the last six months. He's obviously a very talented young man, um, very focused and driven. Um, and, you know, these things happen, you know, when, you, when you've got the opportunity to go and play, you know, at a higher level, whether that be the Championship, Premier League, um, you know, it's something that players want to explore and I think his contract was running out and it's good business for the club. It's really good for Nat, of course, to go and test himself at, a, at the next level. And, um, you know, everyone at the club just wishes him well. The lads are obviously, you know, really happy for him. Everyone sent him a message and he kind of, you know, just thanked everyone for how we've, everyone's been with him. And, you know, we wish him well and he wishes us well and, you know, football moves on. You, Play, different players come in and out and you know you have to just get on with it. So you wish him well, is it a similar message for the other three that moved this window, Sam and Lesh, obviously Rick will be back but he's obviously going out on loan at the moment, similar message obviously? Yeah of course, yeah. You, anyone, you, you know, most people you come across in football you, you wish them well, um, 
you know, sometimes it works out for you, for you at a club, sometimes it doesn't, and um, you know, there's no, there's never any hard feelings. You know, they wish, I'm sure they all wish, you know, the club well, and you, you part ways, the new players come in, and you know, it just keeps rolling. You know, the time doesn't really stop for anyone, and you know, we've got to, like I said, integrate the new boys in, um, and and just you know, push on this, you know, for the last part of the season. It's been a very busy since the Christmas period, insane amount of games, and obviously the transfer window as well has kept things quite busy and busy as well. But we've only had one loss in the last eight league games. Do you think that momentum is playing quite a big part in the recent success and just building and building and building? Yeah, of course. It's always it's always good when you you're not getting beat, you know, back to back and things like that. Um, you know, obviously, I think we could have had a few more points as well from from that run, which is you know we always have to look at what we could have done better, and I think. You know, it's you know we've lost one in eight, which is which is really good and something we've got to take you know great care of to make sure we can extend that um, for longer periods of time. But um, you know, I think there's a lot to be positive about. The performance levels have been, you know, on the hot, you know, on the whole majority has been really good, um, and we've got to continue to do that. And you know, I think it shows when you when the performances have been good, we've tended to get you know this kind of recent foot run of form put together and. It's no, it's no coincidence if we've got to continue that and the results will kind of follow with the performances. Nice one.